Hi, this is Lucas with Yoga Body, and if you suffer from stiff and sore feet, if you have bunions or corns or hammer toe or overlapping toes, plantar fasciitis, any of the common foot ailments, I'd like to introduce you to Awesome Toes. These are our new toe separators designed for active wear. Now, there's lots of different toe separators on the market. What makes Awesome Toes different is they're designed for active wear use. This means walking, walking barefoot around the house, running and doing yoga, stretching, basically wearing them as you walk. And all the toe separators on the market that are designed for sitting on the couch or doing your toenails or resting in bed, those are all great. But when you start using toe separators with active wear use, the benefits go up tenfold. Now, a word of warning before you get started. Before you use anything like this in an active wear setting, make sure you check with your podiatrist. Make sure you start off slowly because you're going to be literally reorganizing the soft tissues of your feet. You're going to be stretching and re-strengthening different areas that have never been stretched before. So start off very slowly. Listen to your body and keep in mind that your posture is going to be changing and shifting as you go. Over the years, I have made tremendous changes to my feet using Awesome Toes toe separators in terms of flexibility and dexterity. And I've also gone from a size 10 to a size 12 and a half, and I think I'll eventually get up to a size 13, bringing my feet back to their natural shape. Now, one of the common responses I get when I tell people this is they say, oh great, you have flexible, dexterous feet, who cares? Well, everybody should care because knee pain, back pain, balance, our standing posture, our running gait, our walking posture, all of these things, the base is our feet. They're all affected by the flexibility and the dexterity of your feet. And most of us are hobbling around in restrictive footwear all day long, not just for eight hours a day, but for decades. And we literally end up with deformed feet that can affect our joints. It can have these compounding effects throughout our body. So it's really, really important. Today I wanted to show you how to use Awesome Toes inside of running shoes or inside of the shoes that you wear around to work. This is a very common question that I get and people are unsure how to do it. So in order to wear Awesome Toes inside your running or your walking shoes, there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. First of all, you need a pair of minimal footwear shoes, minimal shoes. I like this brand Lems, I'm a huge fan, but the reality is everybody's foot's different. So you wear whatever minimal shoe works for you. A couple of other brands, Nike Freeze, Merrill has a bunch of minimal footwear. There's now dozens of different minimal brands out there. Just like any clothing or footwear, you have to figure out what works for you. But the basic principle of all these shoes is the same. First of all, there's zero drop. And what zero drop means is there's no elevation difference between the heel and the toe. And so most running shoes will have you up at as high as 10 centimeters above your toe. And this thrusts your pelvis forward and screws up your running posture, your walking posture, and even your standing posture. The second thing about minimal footwear is they're very, very light and very pliable, meaning they provide minimum protection, but just enough. So if you step on a rock or a piece of glass, you don't cut yourself, but it's just enough to keep you safe, nothing else. They're very light. And last but not least, the toe area is wide enough to support a natural spread in your toes. Whereas most running shoes, most all footwear, crams your foot into weird angles, sharp triangle shapes, even to a point. And over time, your foot, the tissues of your foot, literally organize to fit inside of this binding footwear that we have. A couple of tips if you're getting started wearing awesome toes inside your running shoes. First and foremost is start off slowly. I can now wear these for many hours at a time. I can even wear them all day long. But when I first started, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that was much more appropriate. Again, these are big, big changes you're making to the soft tissues of your feet, so take it slowly. The next thing is keep in mind that your posture will change immediately. As soon as you put these on, you start walking or running, you'll notice that the way you walk and the way you move is completely different. There's very noticeable changes. Your hips are no longer thrusted forward. Oftentimes, any kind of lordosis or kyphosis is naturally corrected. So give yourself time to adjust to that, because at first it'll feel strange, and you might even get a little bit sore when you first get started. And last but not least, listen to your body. You might find that you have some very interesting aches and pains and twinges in your feet. Take some time off and adjust to it slowly. This is not something that happens overnight. This is
is a three month, a six month, a one year process. The changes are dramatic week to week, but in order to correct your feed and really make lasting changes, it is gonna take some time, so be patient, and a little bit over time is much better than trying to force your feet all at once. Thanks so much for your interest in Awesome Toes. If you'd like to learn more about this active wear toe separators, please visit yogabody.com. You can also pick up a pair there if you'd like. I hope that's been helpful, and we'll talk to you soon.